notifications if you are new if you have not subscribed yet like please do that like and subscribe click that bell button so that you get updated about all my videos and lot of educational materials around stock investing and options so let's get started so today's topic is kind of i wanted to review up tesla what happened last week how would you trade and how actually i traded tesla so let's get it started right so always always make sure you have multiple uh, multiple catalysts multiple confirmations when you enter a trade in trade uh, you always need to have an edge so um, uh, edge on the tesla trade was uh, basically they had the news big catalyst uh, they're going to be included in this spy so that's a big news for tesla so the the expectation was demand's going to increase and which will just um, help the propel its price um, and not only s p a lot of the lot of funds try to mimic s p so lot of other funds are also buying tesla in a massive amount right so that just basically increased the demand and the stock price is all about demand and supply when there's a high demand price goes up so let's get it started right so we had so if you look at that right so this was a uh, uh, this has been my kind of the trend line and uh, support resistance from a long time so if you kind of come in live i was kind of telling from time and time time and time again but uh, Tesla was kind of making an ascending triangle uh, and it was right here before the news so basically Tesla was right around the support the trend line support right around 400 uh, 408 or something right so uh, around that price uh, 407 and we had the overnight news uh, Tesla gonna be added on S&P and um, we gapped up Tesla gapped up but I wouldn't really enter on the right on the beginning right um, well it gapped up really high but if you look at that kind of it was the um, buy the rumor sell the news we sold off uh, significantly on that way and i actually did not enter and if you look at that my entry point this is a resistance so what is resistance if you are new it's basically swing highs this is swing high this is swing high uh, that's why i drew it we did not have this but that kind of acted as a resistance if you see so that's a swing high too i had a straight line before even this thing happened i had this straight line from there right so the swing high was around uh, 60 to 65 so anything above 65 would i would consider a clear break also always look at the price action right so this was a good time to get in right after 64 65 i would say 65 kind of clean but if you look at in the smaller time frame so if you go back to let's say five minutes or 15 minutes let's do 15 minutes right so 15 minutes uh, let's do uh, five uh, one month uh, yep this is uh, 62 yep if you look at that right so that was the uh, that was from we gapped up high and we sold off significantly the other day we kind of gapped up we sold off a little bit so we opened a little bit well pre-market we gapped up and we sold in the beginning but look at that lot of strength as soon as 9 30 hit lot of strength coming in buyer 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 if you look at the volume volume increasing right volume increasing volume increasing volume increasing and volume increase right so this was a break breakout uh, so this is 30 minutes candle this was a breakout candle right so breakout from that uh, 65 66 and if you look at that the breakout happened with the big volume look at that volume like a huge volume came in so that's a clear signals kind of clear buy point right so if you got in like literally right you could just literally raise your stop right here it never kind of looked back uh, literally from if you look at 65 66 it um, the first 30 minutes it went to 73 the second almost 76 uh, then 80 85 and we went up to 90 95 uh, this was a good um, if you could kind of uh, take and profit anywhere around here 80 80 to 90 you should be big up right 65 75 20 30 dollars more in terms of option that's couple grand uh, two three k um, i got in a little late i was uh, i was uh, working out or something but i still made some money there. so that was uh, one quick trade right so the, and the other one if you look at that was um, so other other trade so that was a uh, i think last week and other this week i mean again both are last week i guess so other trades i wanted to kind of go over is uh, this is chart so we clearly breathed through it and look at that this was previous resistance right this is uh, 500 labels the all-time high right of the stock split happened and we sold off significantly and after the news we literally bottomed out to 326 but if you look at that that's a that's another all-time high right 
in the all time high uh, uh, and uh, another so that's a that's a big resistance and if you look at that this acted as a perfect resistance on the first day actually i got faked out um, i i entered this day on the 595 kind of my uh, i should have looked into the volumes and it was kind of my mistake but i got in at that day and i uh, i took like five uh, seven percent or something um, loss on that day actually and i didn't look back but i entered again um, on the third day i did not enter that day every day obviously but that was a clean breakout right seven i entered like um, five eight or five ten and i got in the money i got 500 um 500 um so i always get in the money i got 500 and i think i got some way spread as well and look at that i sold everything on friday though so uh, but um look at that it was a nice move nice literally we jumped from 507 till 587 right clear breakout with the good volume look at that volumes so after that the volume has been increasing each day uh, uh, it's it's more than the uh, rest of the 20 days this is a 20 days moving average line for volumes and always make sure you break out with the good volume so they just i just wanted to kind of see a uh, lot of people wanted to know how you trade or how uh, you would go about but uh, just wanted to kind of review what happened um, if you have any question or comment uh, do comment below uh, let me know if you have any question but that's about it thank you